The lectionary is a series of readings. So every Sunday, there are texts from the Hebrew Scriptures, the Psalms, and the New Testament uh, that churches together focus on around the world. It's also a way to structure the year uh, with different parts of the calendar emphasizing different parts of the Christian story. The lectionary text for this week include 2 Samuel 11.26 through 12.13a. As the lectionary talked about last week, David took Bathsheba and arranged for the basic murder of her husband Uriah. This week Nathan confronts David with the sin, but doesn't bring it out directly. Instead, Nathan tells David a parable. He talks about somebody who had one small lamb that they really cared for, and along comes somebody with many lambs. But wanting to eat dinner, the wealthy man chooses, instead of killing one of his own lambs, to kill the one precious lamb that someone else had. David, of course, is outraged by this and says that the, this wealthy man should be, should be punished for what he's done. And then Nathan says, you are the man, confronting David with the depth of his sins. The story goes on to say that the child that was conceived by David and Bathsheba would, would die that God would strike down this child. And I think this is really troubling for us to hear as believers in this God. I think one way I like to think about this story then is that it's a stark reminder that when the powerful go beyond their boundaries, there's a heavy price to pay, not just by them, but by those around them, by their families, by their friends, by their children. What Nathan does in this passage is a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing to speak truth to power. Nathan could very well have lost his life by confronting David with his sin. But it's the right thing to do. It's the absolutely necessary thing to do. When power corrupts, uh, we need to stand up and we need to speak against it. There have been people throughout history who have done this. Martin Luther King, Gandhi. But there are lots of small ways that this is happening in everyday life. When bosses overstep their boundaries, and an employee steps forward and calls them on it. That's an act of courage, and one that many more of us need to take. 